Guys and welcome back to the latest episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ash Grey. Now, today we uh, in, the, in, the, in the last episode we found ourselves in front of this local prime, this local school. So let's talk to the um, woman outside. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. We've been expecting you. Please come in. All the children are waiting for you in the playground. So let's go inside. She, um, we uh, weren't supposed to be here at all, but we'll just go with it. What do you mean the Pokemon trainer can't make it? But I've just met with him. <sighs> Some Pokemon trainers were supposed to visit today and let the kids play with their Pokemon. They're so excited about playing with the Pokemon. Now they're going to be disappointed. Could you do me a favor? Would you let the children play with your Pokemon? They'll have so much fun. Thank you so much. So let's go inside here, and there's loads of little kids here, so let's talk to some of them. Teacher said we're going to play with some Pokemon today. My, no me Alf can do what what uh, Timmy says it did. He's just the liar. I want to play with some Pokemon. Want to release some of your Pokemon for the children to play with? Yes. So Bulbasaur is out, Squirtle's out, and Pikachu's out. So Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Pikachu are out. So let's talk to some, shall we? Pikachu seems in a good mood, as the Squirtle, so we'll just leave the, uh... Yeah, well they are here, so I'm going to talk to the little kid in the corner. What's the matter? Don't you want to play with the Pokemon? I want to, but the only Pokemon I want to meet is Meow. One day I was playing in the woods, when I was attacked by a Beedwill. I was, I was... I was rescued by a wild meow, but when, but it went off and I, it went off before I could thank it. That's why meow is the only Pokemon I want to meet. That meow is my hero. I know, maybe you could find it for me. It must be around here somewhere. If you can find it, then I can show, show all my classmates that I'm really telling the truth. I'll leave the guys there for a bit. I mean, I've still got some of the team, so I'll talk to the teacher. I'll just pop out and see if I can find that meow. I think it might be nearby here because this seems quite uh, planned here. Yeah. What? A loose boulder is plummeting down the cliff. A wild meow broke the boulder before it could hit you. Could it be the meow that saved Timmy? Meow meow. Would you like to take the wild meow? Yes. Ash took the wild meow to bring it to Timmy. So does it go to my party? Nope, it doesn't go to my party, but it's with me. So let's take it back to the uh, to the school and drop into the backyard with this wild cat and take it to Timmy. Oh, you found me out! Thank you so much! Would you like to give me out to Timmy? Yes. Ash, release me out to Timmy. You know what, Ash? When I get big, I'm going to be a Pokemon trainer just like you. Then me and my Meowth can get can go and take on the Pokemon League. I guess Timmy was telling the truth after all. I'm sorry I ever called him a liar. His Meowth is great. Teacher said we're getting to play. Oh, boy. And that's that for that little segment. I know it was um, supposed to be a bit longer, but we'll move forward to the next element. There's a police station here. We can take some tests. So do you want to train your Pokemon like my Growlithe? Yes. Alright, then let's see what you're made of. Um, I get to battle her. <laughs> She's going to battle me with a full team of six Growliths, all at level 25. I'll take her. I'll take her on with just Bulbasaur. I think I'll use Toxic on it and then pull it out of the battle. Because obviously fire attacks are going to burn Bulbasaur down, but a Toxic attack followed by Water attacks from Squirtle. Well, that's that, isn't it? Take some of my drink. So obviously, the 
Growlifts are um, at a lower level than we are, so they'll take damage from poison and then I'll hit it with a water pulse, and that will be it. Uh, apologies if you do get any background noise on my microphone in, but um, needs must and episodes need to be recorded whenever I can, really. But yeah, this is quite a base, quite a standard little bit of little, little battle, really. Squirtle can take it from here. Uh, and get the majority of the experience. Uh, she's just got Growlifts and um, they're not seeming to be much of a problem. They are level, they are um, slowly advancing upwards in levels, but as I've said before, guys, uh, <laughs> we are at a decent level. Our, our Pokémon are at a decent level for the battle, so. So what I wanted to ask you guys is, um, is it acceptable to refer to Pokemon when you're talking about them in, as your team, as poke, pokes, or pokes? Because I've done that before, and uh, people have told me that I'm not right to do that, and I'm not sure, so that's why I'm asking you guys, because, you know, you've got the power of the internet, and so have I really, but, you know, it's your opinion that matters to me. The Squirtle has snapped out of confusion and has hit the ground with another water pulse. Um, yeah, so this is quite a quite a combat, quite an easy battle, really. I mean, obviously the ground is encroaching upon my level, but and I think the last one might well be at my level. I mean, this one is at level 33, so yeah, the next one is going to be higher level than me. But I'm going to try Bubble Beam this time. Because it hasn't really done all that much damage, just getting the odd bite in, but that's it really. Uh, it's takedown, uh, nearly took me out, but one bubble beam will finish that one. And the last one's going to be a problem, I think. But, I'm sure we'll find a way around it. So she's sending out her last growl, if it's like a team leader, I suppose. And it's at level 35, so it's one level above me. So I'm going to go... Wow, it actually got flamethrower in. Yeah, that's Squirtle done. Uh, I suppose we'll play Pikachu in this one. We'll go with Pikachu at this point. And go for Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt nearly took it out. Will flamethrower take Pikachu out? Nope, Thunderbolt again, and that's the Growlithe down. I'm not sure if we were meant to win that battle, but I mean, they were so lower leveled, I mean, how could we not, really? Squirtle wants to evolve. No, you're not allowed to, because you're not supposed to. Uh, I stick to anime rule, and that's that, really. It takes great skill to defeat my police-trained K9 unit. I think you've earned yourself a reward. TM30. That TM contains safeguard. Use it to protect your Pokémon from harm. Uh, I'm going to pop back to the. Uh, we'll pop back to the Pokémon Center. This Pokémon Center not far from here. Uh, that's where the Princess Festival took place, and the Pokémon Center is just here. The next stage that we're going, the next element that we're going to do. Um, we're not going to see much of my Pokémon in that one uh, because we're going to take the Pokémon League Entrance Exam. Now, obviously, uh, we're not supposed to actually pass it. But frankly, if I can pass it, I'm going to. Because <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how the game explains itself out of the fact that I've passed the entrance exam and therefore don't need to do any more gym battles. Uh, so we're going to do that as a way to sort of see uh, to see what see how the game deals with it. But I'm not entirely sure if we will actually pass it yet. So it's going to be a big test for us. So we'll go past these trees. I did I did um, do a bit of forward running off camera just to sort of try and work out where things are. Um, there's one guy here. Sure, let's talk to him. He's a trainer and he wants to battle us. So let's do that. Let's knock him, knock him down. More tea. And we'll try and we'll look to put him down as quickly as possible. He's a it's a boy to her. But she's got a gloom. So toxic ain't gonna work here, so we'll just go with Giga Drain bank on levels, because we've got five level advantage there. Uh, that didn't necessarily do it, she's going for a poison based attack. I'm going to go for solar beam. 
Now I know obviously we've got to wait two turns, but I think we can do that and smash up with solar beam. Do some damage, but not enough to knock it down. It's put Bulbasaur to sleep, so this ends Bulbasaur's participation in the battle. We'll uh, pull him out of the battle and send out... We'll take the risk and send Charmeleon. I mean, even though he doesn't completely obey us very much, he does sometimes hit an attack, and if he does hit an attack, then... You know. Anyway, um, he's supposed to be evolving shortly, so... Any, whenever I get the opportunity, I need, I do want to evolve, want to evolve him. So he's actually gone to sleep. What an idiot! Wake up, you stupid chameleon! I want to evolve you into an even bigger, more dangerous um, creature that doesn't obey me. Chameleon woke up. Chameleon began to nap. What? Oh, bloody hell! Okay, you are completely useless, uh, just so you know. Um, let's swap him out with Pidgeotto. He literally woke up from being asleep and then went straight back to sleep again. Sounds like somebody I know. Anyway, let's um, let Pidgeotto take care of it. At least I hope so. Quick attack should do the job. Didn't, but the next one will. We'll go for wing attack next time. Because sweet scent doesn't seem to be making much of a difference, just bringing down our evasiveness. That doesn't stop our accuracy, which knocks it down. Um, next is sending out another gloom, so we'll let Pidgeotto stay in and take care of it. I do miss Charmander, you know, guys. He he used to listen to me. Charmander used to listen. Pidgeotto don't, but. Uh, Charmeleon doesn't, I mean. Pidgeotto does. Always loyal, that always loyal that guy, always loyal. But I want to get him to Charm Charizard because um, I think the next gym might well be Blaine's. And uh, obviously for that gym, we need Charizard to take on Magmar. So we need to get rid of that Charmeleon pretty quickly. Um, I do apologise if I didn't, if I missed um, an element, but obviously we'll. Um, Head up now and we'll go and do the Pokemon League entrance exam. Wish me luck guys, because if we can actually pass that we'll be doing better than some of the others. I'm going to save the game here just for the sake of uh, having a save file. You would like to take the entrance exam? Yes, I do. Very well then. First I, would, I, first I will hold all of your Pokemon as yours are not permitted in this battle. Is that alright? Yeah, go on. The first test will measure your overall knowledge of Pokemon. Lickitung's tongue is twice the length of its body. I think that's true. Nine Tails evolves from Vulpix only by use of a Firestone. That's true. Hitmonlee is also known as the Punching Demon. No, because he's the kicking one. The only attack Magikarp knows is uh, initially knows, originally knows is Splash. Uh, shit. Um. I'm going to say no, because some of them learn Tackle. Caterpie is the world's smallest Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Coughing was first discovered in a public bathhouse, yes. Now let's take a short break to see how well you did. Your score is... You only scored 50% on the written exam. However, you may still pass the exam if you do well in the battle exam. You may proceed to the second exam. In the second round of testing, you will be given three random Pokémon and must battle me three times. If you fail to defeat, defeat me all three times, you will you you will earn a per not earn a per If you fail to defeat me in the first time, you will fail the second exam. Ready? Let the second round of testing begin. So we've got we've got to beat we've got to beat this stupid fat idiot. Um. Dimitri is sending out a Charmander and we've got Team Rocket's Pokemon. So we're gonna go with Sludge. Because I know how to beat Charmanders and Poison works. It's got Dragon Rage but that only does 40 so we'll hit it with Double Sludge and knock it out. Uh, 
Um, he's now sending out a Volt Orb. We've still got a Weezing. I think we can do it. But I'm going to go with Sludge again. It's using Light Screen, so that's good because I, I um, want to I want to hit it as quickly, quickly and uh, as I possibly can. So we're just going to hit it again. It's poisoned. And we'll hit it again. Our backup plan, of course, is explosion. When Weezing gets weak enough, we're just going to blow it up. And he's now sending out a Graveler. I better have a look, see what else we've got. We've got a Meowth and an Arbok. I'm going to stick with Weezing. I'm going to blow it up. Not enough to kill it. But I'm sure the others can finish it. Let's go with Arbok. And we'll use acid. Okay, the graveler's got the advantage here. I'm going to stockpile. Okay, our box down. Can we finish it with Meowth? Maybe blowing Weezing Sky High was a mistake. I'm gonna go Fury Swipes. Yeah, we're gonna go back to our save file, guys. We'll load our save file. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I would quite like to beat this if we can, so... So let's make, let's try, let's try and win this, shall we? Lick it so twice, I think that is true. Bullpix is a Firestone type. That's a no. Uh, the only attack, I'm going to say yes for that one then. Caterpie is the world's smallest, gee, yep. Yeah. I'm going to say yes to that one. You only scored 60. S okay, so we've got to win these battles then, I think. So we're going to have to win this then, guys. I think we can win now. He's sending out Charmander again. We've got. Oh, we've got different guys now. This time we've got a Clefairy, a Poliwhirl, and a Marowak. So we've got a decent team here, so let's go with Meteor Mash. I didn't know Clefairy could learn Meteor Mash, but I suppose... Okay, we're going to have to swap out, because I think we've got a pretty, we've got a pretty wobbly team here. We'll go for Poliwhirl. I think he always has the same team, but ours varies. We've got a bit of a... Dodgy team here though. Whoa! A Charmander with seismic task, give me all. Body slam will do it in there. He's got a graveler. His graveler's in next. We haven't got any water type attacks, so I'm just gonna have to go with body slam again. Now it's used Earthquake, that's Poliwhirl down. Let's try Marowak, Marowak, we haven't looked at this Marowak yet. So we'll have our Marowak use Bone Meringue. Wow! Who'd, who'd have known that was super effective on a Graveler? And he's got the Voltorb left. And we'll go for Bone Meringue again. Wow, well, one hit kill! So we've beaten him first time round! Let the second battle begin!
he's sending out a Tangler. We've still got the same Clefairy with the same health. I'm going to use Cosmic Power. I don't know what it does, but we haven't got a Fire type at all, so. We'll use Meteor Mash and swap out Clefairy for Marowak, who seems to be able to actually hold his own in battle. That's not good! Go for Thrash. Marowak is actually quite powerful, but... Ah, Thrash took out that Tangler. That's good. Very good, that. He's going to send out a Kingler. We may as well stick to our guns. That's the end of Marowak. We'll send out Clefairy and lose, because... Oh, no we won't, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some items. I am going to use some of my items. So let's. I wish we could. We we'll use a revive on Marowak because he's like a boss and can actually fight. That might take the Clefairy down. I'm going to switch out to the Marowak. Oh, you lucky individual! Of all the times to get the one hit kill, you absolute lucky bugger. I'll use another revive then. Bring back Marowak. It's getting some re it's getting some really lucky shots off. I mean the fact that it managed to get guillotine twice in a row, you know? No bloody way! Oh really? Let's load that one again. I, I really do want to pass this, so So you want to take the test? We'll take the test, yeah. I'm just gonna Switch my lamp on so I can see what I'm doing. I'm sure that's right. What's what could be smaller than a canopy? Um. So we got 66%. So we did do better than last time. So what we've got to do now is beat him. So he's, uh, he's, given, he's given us three Pokemon. And we will be back in the next episode. See you later, guys. Five or six attempts down, and this is the result. So I think uh, we're going to have to just go with this and just go with it guys. We're just going to have to uh, just take the defeat and do it the old fashioned way. Anyway, we want to do all the gyms so... You failed the whole exam, please return the Pokemon that you rented and I will look back at the Pokemon you used. I will return your Pokemon, thank you for participating. And that's it, yeah, we, uh, we didn't do very well did we guys? But that's okay, there's a nurse here, so we can heal up our um, Pokemon anyway, and then we can go on because, you know, we don't want to just sit and 
we don't want to just uh, keep trying that over and over and over again. That's going to get boring, so we'll just move forward and um, see what's next on the agenda for us. What's this? This is the Five Star Breeding Centre. Welcome to our breeding centre. You can look after we can look after one of your Pokemon for a while if you want. We guarantee your Pokemon will be like new. We may even. Uh, no, I don't. I don't trust that. Um, that doesn't. That looks a bit suspect to me. Uh, what's this then? We'll go in here. There's a bloke behind a bar. Hello there, I'm a world class chef. My prices are probably too high for you, but if you show me one of my favourite Pokemon, I'll give you a berry. Today I'd like to see an Ivysaur. Haven't got one of those. Sorry, can't help you. I'm not going to show him an Ivysaur because I've only got a Bulbasaur. Now then, there seems to be a ferry, ferry terminal here. Ahoy, this ship set fail to the famous resort of Cinnabar Island. The boat isn't leaving quite yet. Come back a little later. Okay, Who, who's this? This route is so long I've been walking forever. Yeah, you're telling me. I had to go all the way back to Fuchsia City the other, the other episode. So let's um, battle some of these trainers and... Uh, we'll go and put a Pokemon in at that breeding centre. And see what see what they do. They can't do any harm to Pidgeotto, so they might be um, Team Rocket. I'm not sure, but we can try that out and see what happens. It wouldn't be there if it, if there wasn't a reason for it, and the boat isn't leaving for a while, so there must be something we've got to do in order to trigger the boat being able to leave. So we'll just do some trainer battles for a bit. See if there's anything we can do. We must have missed something. But I ain't sure what. Uh, so we'll look, we'll have a look around to see what we can see if we can work out what's wrong. This is a trainer. To youngster Kirk, sending out a Q bone, and we'll go with Bulbasaur as per. Giga Drain should handle it. I won't even need to toxic this one, I don't think. And of course, Bulbasaur's health gets regenerated. Always a good thing. Okay, Volpix might be a problem, but let's at least um, toxic it. It's used Willow Wisp, so Bulbasaur is burned. But I've got some full heals, so we should be alright. And at least my condition isn't going to get worse and worse as time goes on, whereas yours will. So I'm only I'm going to finish off. I'll finish off this this um, episode here, guys, and then I'll do some I'll do some off-screen um, uh, hunting around and see what I can find. And next episode, hopefully, we'll be able to get towards Cinnabar Island, which is the next badge we need. I, mean, I don't remember getting six badges, but we must have. Brock, Misty, Surge, Erica, Sabrina, five. Koga, six, yeah. So we did get six, yeah. I don't know why I, th I didn't think we'd got there, guys, but somehow something told me we didn't, but I was wrong. So they've all picks fell, they've all picks fell eventually, and we'll switch into Pikachu. He's got, there's a gold bat, and that shouldn't be an issue. And, yeah, so that's essentially what we're going to have to do here, guys. We're going to have to just sort of see what we end up with. But I don't know what I've, the one I've missed. I must have missed something. But I can't even begin to suggest. Begin to suggest what? 
Ah, oh, yeah, okay. I hear the DK might not be legit. Be careful. Okay, we'll send Pidgeotto. We'll send Pidgeotto in. Thank you. We'll take very good care of your Pidgeotto. We won't even... You won't even miss it. <laughs> Unsuspecting trainers. You should really give it a try. We work miracles. Okay. So we'll boot up the PC here. Let's leave. Let's leave and see what's what's what because I don't particularly know they've gone. The computer has a message on the screen. Secret holding area has been closed. Would you like to open it? Yes. A secret passage opened. So we'll go down these steps here. With a rocket hideout. What a surprise. Okay, we're gonna have to. We, we will. We'll have a look around and see what it is. Ash found a TM. That's a TM. That's not my Pidgeotto. It's a bit of a maze, but there's two rocket. Jesse and James are over here. Jesse breaking into the breeding centre was genius. It's a burglar's dream. Oh, I just remembered this is the breeding centre where I left my weeping bell I caught the other day. James, oh look, it evolved into a victory bell. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you're trying to steal these Pokemon for yourself. You'll have to get through us first. And there we go. We've got to battle the rockets again. And they've got a victory bell that James recently caught. Let's see if there's anything we can do with that. I don't know what stockpile and spit up and stuff does. But we are down a Pokemon. And that's never a good thing. But we'll go for, we'll stick to what we usually do and use Pikachu. Probably should have sent Squirtle to be honest, as my insider. Because I don't know what they're gonna put, what kind of uh, battlers they're gonna possess, and whether or not we can take them. But we we'll use constant thunderbolts and hopefully take out that weeping bell pretty quick. They've still got Arbok and Weezing, I assume, and um, Lickitung. So then they've probably got four now. Bloody hell! That's all. That is really, really powerful. How are we supposed to beat these guys? We've only got four Pokemon ourselves now. They've got Arbot, Weezing, and Lickitung still, yeah. We could be in trouble here, you know, guys. Charmeleon won't work for us, will he? So. I should have put Charmeleon in. I mean, he doesn't work anyway, does he? But. Let's use Thunderbolt from Pikachu. I suppose absolute last resort would be Charmeleon. Don't really want to, but <laughs> if needs must, we'll have to. But I'm um, hopefully, hopefully Squirtle's got it in hand. I mean, he's very much under leveled, but he'll do his best. I know he will. We could have a problem here, guys. Squirtle's gonna try. Squirtle's took out the weak wheezing, so now it's just Licky Tongue left to take. But we'll at least try uh, Water Pulse. And yep, <laughs> we're gonna we're stuck with. Our last resort. Have we got any more re revives though? Because we could well revive. Yeah, we can. We can revive Pikachu. So if Charmeleon doesn't want to work, 
Chameleon doesn't want to do it. We can use Flame. Oh! For once he's decided to do something. And he's done pretty damn good and all. If he faints now, I'm not completely fussed. But he's going to do another flamethrower and now he can evolve. That's even better. Because we are behind an evolution on the, on the old fire lizard. So we'll let him evolve at the end of this battle. And we'll try and get everyone back up. Pikachu's going to have to battle and then he's going to have to do the majority of the next battle though. I'm not going to let Squirt live out, but I am going to let Charmeleon. I'll let Charmeleon evolve because we do need a Charizard but by now anyway, so Charmeleon has now evolved into Charizard. So we've now got a Charizard. Team Rocket, fine, take the Pokemon for yourselves, we're blasting off again. Now then, can we um, do it? Can we bring back the majority of our team because, oh no we haven't got enough. So we'll have to use Pikachu as our leader. Charizard's an absolute last resort though because he is very unresponsive and Chastity, Cass, Cassidy and uh, Butch You don't know what you're dealing with but we'll be glad to show you and yeah this is the um, <laughs> the alternative Team Rocket motto to denounce the goodness of truth and love to extend our wrath to the stars above Butch. I can't do her voice. Surrender to us now or you will surely lose this fight. I'll be honest guys, I think I might lose this fight. <laughs> but what are they going to play? Drowsy and Radicate? I'm not sure what they've got at this point. Primeape and Radicate. And we're going to go with Squirtle and Pikachu, yeah. Um, uh, we'll go with a Thunderbolt on the Radicate and uh, what and bite the uh, primate. I don't remember them having a primate, but that's beyond the purpose, and we'll just do what we can. After all, Pikachu's got the power, and we have got Charizard waiting just in case. Oh, Charizard's coming out. <laughs> so we'll bring Charizard in, and obviously, Squirtle's gonna. Uh, go for bite. Uh, we'll pray for a flamethrower. Charizard decided not to work. work. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. But Squirtle's on his own then. But at least Charizard's in on the field, and he might. He might attack. And if he does, which he did, he can do some pretty serious. Um, Pretty serious, pretty serious damage, so yeah. Radicate won't, can't move. Charizard, please, one more. Cause Squirtle really can't at the moment. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you absolute nutter! You are now on your own. If you feel like working, Char Charizard, that now is the time. Nope, we've lost. Looks like you belong to Team Rocket now. We actually look like we lost you to them, so... Are your Pokemon hurt? Here, let me heal them for you. We're back at the Pokemon thing, and I'm going to go back and beat them this time. But we'll do that in the next episode. See you then.